What up, what up, what up? It's your girl Free coming at you guys live with another exclusive vlog. I pulled up to Los Angeles once again. Y'all know I love LA rappers. What part of LA are you from? Um, Inglewood, to be exact. I actually was born at uh, Daniel Freeman Hospital. Okay. So that's just something for like the real Inglewood heads. Go nope. ahead and give the vlog an introduction of who you are. So my name is Ian Michael. I'm an LA artist. Um, I do pop. R&B and hip hop, mm -hmm. mostly rap. Um, I got an album, LP, my back coming out October 31st. I like being alone. Okay. And I'm just super excited to be here. It's been a journey, but I'm here. How long and how far has your journey gone back? How long have you been rapping? Let's start there. Um, Like when I first, there's like, it's rapping is waves. Cause I feel like I'm in like a new way, like today, is a new day yeah, of like definitely this next year. I, I was like 13, 14, and like Drake became huge, <laughs> and it just inspired me to start writing. Yeah, uh, I got to I went to Price High School. Shout out to Price High School, and we actually had a recording arts program mm -hmm. with uh, shout out to PK. Um, my senior year, he ended up producing uh, Fine China for Chris Brown. Okay, so it was just kind of around. Which one was that? I know that song, but I don't remember how it goes. It was uh, don't be uh. I'm not dangerous, and it so like dun, 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 dun. it was like the baseline yeah. one from X. Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain. Um, Loyal, I think, ended up becoming like the single for that. Right, right. But right. Um, like I said, during that time, PK was up there. I remember I like acted in. I was playing basketball, mm -hmm. so it was the off season. I like acted in this play, and he was like. So you've been already like into the performing arts scene. It was in, I, got, I was telling you earlier, my mom been in entertainment. Right. She kind of pushed the ball in my hand. She was like, "Yo, this business is this business." Mm -hmm. Um, but I, it was just in me. Like I said, I was like probably ten. Um, I would just be rapping to myself like it's a music video, not even mm -hmm. realizing I was doing it. I was just right. doing it type shit, you know. Right. So um, yeah, I just started wanting to write. Um, PK saw me was just like, yo, this kid got energy. You mm -hmm. feel me? I just, I'm high energy a lot of times. Right. Um, so he was like, get a computer, get into it. And it just kept going. Like, it just little by little, I was in a rap group a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Taylor May, Taylor Alfred, who was in a rap group, trying <laughs> to do it. Uh, what's crazy is lady had bought me um, my first computer that I still use. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just kept going. I got to college. I played college basketball. And that's when I was really like, I gotta take this seriously. Um, right. I was a walk-on, so it was just like, I, I didn't feel like I was gonna play. You feel right. me? So I'm like, bro, what am I doing? Um, I did a athlete talent show and low key, like it was dope. It was mm -hmm. really dope. So it was like, all right, let me go for it. And I just went for it, and it's just been this journey. Um, I would say what really solidified it for me, like all in and everything, was 2016. Right. Um, I did a song called Girl from the North. Uh, Girl from the North? It's called Girl from the North. I got okay. I got heartbroken. What is that? College. She was from the Bay? No, nah, she was from... Um, okay, so basically what happened was she she had this cabin up north. And okay. like, so, I don't know. I just is that the Bay, though? No, nah, no, nah, she was in, uh, what's that, Big Bear? Yeah, she was up oh, in Big Bear. Oh, up north of this. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, my it, up north. <laughs> my uh, up north is I, the Bay. <laughs> now, nah, okay, shout out to the Bay, though, my brother out there. But, um, yeah, no, nah, they, uh, she just had this cabin. So, I don't know, man. I just got, it was a lot of things around the time, too. I was just kind of partying a lot. And so, when shit didn't work out, can I cuss on here? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> Listen, niggas are niggas on here, there okay? You, you can there be you who go. you want to be on go. my vlog. I love I'm it. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. So, I'll so. call you Tom. Yes, <laughs> you're more than welcome. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I took to an extreme, but it made me look at my life. of just mm -hmm. like, what is going on? And I knew I wanted to do music. So, I just, like, locked myself in this room for, like, three, four weeks. Like, Oh, you one of those types. <laughs> yeah, be like, I mean, you see where I'm at. I, I like being alone is a real thing. So, yeah. um, I just started producing. And I made these songs. And low-key, my roommate, like, hyped me up. Like, yo, that beat sound dope. Let me hear what you got. And I just started singing it. Then he started just making me perform it for everybody that would come to the house. Like, yo, <laughs> do that song, do that song. So, I went to go record it. That one was called Paper. And then from there, I said something about Girl from the North. Like, so basically with that, I was just in there on my fake sad boy shit type shit. So were you and her in a full-blown relationship? No, bro, this is what bad about it. I just really just thought so you this just was hit? all... 
See, <laughs> now this is the question you were talking about. Now. You just say it? <laughs> Man, first of all, it ain't even nobody business about what happened. You feel me? All that happened was I got my heart broke. You feel me? Okay. You here. So, you feel me? I wrote this song called Girl From The North. It was real simple. Like, you used to be my lover. And shit went crazy, bro. Like, people in OC was really fucking with it. Um, probably made my head a little bit too big at the time and shit. Right. But it was cool, man. It, it I met a producer out here. Uh, my first mentor, shout out to Haskell Jackson. And um, from then on, I just immersed myself because I seen from there, like, the work. Mm-hmm. And then, I seen then, too, though. I had a song popping. I low-key was enjoying it too much. I went out to OC all the time. I, was, I came back to L.A. to try to, you feel me, do the L.A. Right, thing. right, right. I was right. going out to OC, partying and shit. Um, and, and, like, I seen a fan base, like, dip. But then I just started working hard again, you feel me? Went on right. the journey. And that's where I, like, being alone kind of came into not to say too much, I guess. Maybe yeah, because like, like you had like a breakthrough moment with a song and you kind of got, your head kind of got a little big for oh, a second. Oh, my head got, my head for sure And you big. kept going out, partying and not really focusing on the music and then you seen that it if don't you don't matter. put the time and the effort in, it'd be over. It could be over really quickly. It would be over. And which was, it was a good lesson to have at like 21 instead right. of like right now or some shit. Yeah, no, definitely. Because yeah. I mean, to learn something like that, would you would want to learn it earlier than you would want to learn it later. Yeah. Especially because when you start to make stupid decisions at, like, 25 on plus, that just starts to become... It's tough. Yeah, it starts to become a part of your life. I don't know if y'all get that, all these kids y'all keep having by these men. Oh. They're, they're really alive. Like, they're really here. <laughs> hey, I didn't know. I mean, look, if you got a kid, it was it was a blessing. <laughs> To your life. We not nice the on the vlog. I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> we I don't not care nice how, on how the vlog. We get. tell it how it is. I'm gonna tell you how it is though. Like you said, like there's a lot of situations out like life is hard. Yeah, no. Life is really hard. <laughs> so, You're a positive nigga, huh? Um, I try to be. That's good. That's I good. I can feel your or your energy. I, I can appreciate feel that. you don't want to tell the vlog too much. You gonna give a little something up. I mean, look, <laughs> I told you before this, we're gonna talk. Whatever come out is what come out. and You're going to have to give something up. <laughs> of what? I, look, this is where I be. I promise you this whole pandemic, people have been having kids. People have been waking <laughs> up. I have been in the studio. And that's why I got this album. This whole album kind of, I've been working on it for three years. I gave my producer album in January. And the one I'm about to drop is a totally different album. And that's because I put the work in. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, like, I don't want to get, like, big-headed or cocky. But it's just, like, a lot of niggas be just, like, rapping. But, like, for me, this is just, like, I know I just got to keep working. If right. I just keep working, in, like, 20, 30, you'd be like, oh, shit, like, okay. Right. But I got to stay consistent. That's 10 more years, you feel Right, me? yeah. That's all it's about. So, yeah. granted, though, I'm trying to get to a place of, like, I'll give you something. Try to get to a place of, like, you know, let me live some life around it, though. See, this is the thing. And I'm just fucking with you on the vlog because that's just, like, my hey, personality. That's but how I be. the thing about the vlogs is... It's like people get on here and they talk about music, but what what your fans love is when you get out of that scene because they know you on the music tip. That's your social media. Yeah. Like, that's all music tip. They're going to watch this interview and they're going to say, well, damn, like, we could get another side of Ian we never seen. Like, or here's something that he's never said before. Okay. Like how I, like, you know, tried to get Donnie on the last video. To, you feel <laughs> me? Say he crazy. had a girlfriend. Now all his fans of D, he sent me DMs of motherfuckers like, so D have a girlfriend, hey. and that's what he said they was gonna do. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's just good for, you know what I mean? Like they'll see a different side of you. Hey, I'm than the introverted. Hey, different side of me. My DMs is dry. So if somebody <laughs> wants to hit me, you know, send me a snowflake. You know? <laughs> send me a little snowflake. I you got some, you got some DMs cracking. I promise you. Don't you don't got a significant other. Nah, I like being alone. Like when was the last time you had a girlfriend? Last time I had, like, real life, the last time I had a girlfriend was, like, 2013. And, like, she was crazy. I miss her, though. I miss you. See? I was, was going to say you I loved know. it. I was going to say you loved it. Like, wait, as soon as you I said I be seeing that, her on my Snapchat, and I just be like. Damn, I miss your crazy No, nah, but, like, not really. Because then I will be like, bro, like, what was you really going to do? You feel me? Like, at the end of the day, this a long time has helped me. Like, but what type me. of crazy was it? Was it like key your car, push sugar nah, nah, in your nah, tank, nah, crazy, nah, nah. or was it? So like- here's the thing: I be I be out of shit. Like like, that's other thing. That's what I've gotten to. I'm trying not to break nobody heart type shit. Cause like after a month, I be like, this is kind of stupid. Like you feel me? Really? It's have sucks. you ever been in love? Uh, 
Because your music be coming from a place that sounds like... I feel like I've been in love, but I feel like I've been in love with people that ain't been in love with me sometimes, or, like, I'll be in love, but then, like, love is an emotion, bro. Like, you be happy in the morning, and you be sad at night, right? So that's how that's how love be sometimes to me. Granted, I, maybe I haven't had that love that's like... Right. I don't know if I want to see that shit, to be honest with you. I know your female fans are going to want to know. Hey, I mean, like I said, I'm here, I'm available, I'm trying to live more life. So hit me up, we can have a conversation, see what's going on. I be kind of busy though, so... He's trying to fuck more bitches. That's what he really trying to do. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to say what I'm he I'm going to be say. honest though, I'm going to be honest though, I'm kind of over that whole, like, you got to fuck a lot of bitches because... It ain't, it ain't, it ain't You know what, I'm so mad you just made me say that. I don't say that word. No, look, look. I don't want to fuck, like... I make people say stuff. I ain't trying to be a hoe out here because... It's just like it's really not that fun. Like I've got it's to have not. my experiences, and it's like I realize, like when you really vibing with somebody and y'all are on a like same wavelength, you feel me? It's kind of better than like just meeting somebody and then just going. I mean, some nights nice, though, you might meet a freak, and that should be like amazing. You feel mm-hmm. me? This is what never mind. So you don't make me say <laughs> some shit. But uh, that's what we want to hear. That's like, the shit we want to hear. I feel like and girl, yo, and he hit the girl in the north too. So I want to put that out there. Why you try not to say? He so did. <laughs> he did. I'm just not gonna talk about it because it's not important. It's nobody business. That's it's what a, it is. The vlog wants to know. The, but the vlog don't got no. Like, see, you know what? That's been the thing about 2020 and celebrities. I feel like you feel like you got to put all your like. I'm not even going to say names, but we know what we've seen over this 2020 shit. And people just saying some crazy shit for some... I don't need it. I think my music is good enough where yeah. we ain't got to like be like, yo, I'm in some... I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't really shit on celebrities. I don't try to shit on nobody because at the end of the day, we just all people. We just trying to be great. I'm just trying me. to pull a side out of you. That I I'm know trying that to... I'm trying, I'm, trying to I'm, trying to, I'm trying to let you get it out. I said some things already <laughs> and I'm like... Yo, that you, can, you, can you cut that no, little section? No, like, <laughs> no, but um, okay, so let's get back into the music. Let's get back into the music. Damn, my ex is watching this, so like, I hope she is. I hope, like, low key, my exes be watching my shit. Yeah, because you want them to know you missed them? See, nah, you? it's like, it's just like, it's just tight. Like, you, you still, like, are like, they're gonna tell Because, like, exes live in my head rent free, low key, sometimes. Yeah. But, like, it helps. I write music and shit. I just want, like, a boss ass chick that's, like, really going crazy, but I want to boss my life up to be able to get that. You feel me? Right. Yeah. Or you could get somebody right now and you guys can boss up together. Juice be telling me that all the time. You guys could boss right the fuck up together because, I mean. That's facts. I mean, I, like I said, my DMs is open. Hit me with a snowflake. You feel me? Ah, <laughs> look, he know what's up on the vlog. This that's is what I wanted him hey, to do. That shit so funny, though. Like, niggas been going ham with that yeah. since this shit dropped. It's I'm so like, crazy because my homegirl got a snowflake today, Randall. You got a snowflake? Did I? Did you? I'm asking uh-uh, you. nobody sent why y'all didn't send me a snowflake? Y'all know I needed one. Yeah. I did not get no snowflake in my DM. I felt ugly. I thought about it, but I was like, that shit. Sending me that's one? Not, no, oh. I mean, well, I, I can't do that. <laughs> Usually it's somebody that's like walks in the background of the vlog and gets like a ghetto shout out. There's always one nigga that walks by like, yeah, what's up? Hey, well, let me get my shout out. Shout out to AIF. <laughs> Yeah, no, but you are the person, so she would have to jump on it and do the ghetto shout out. You know what? Juice isn't really about being in front of the camera. I'm trying to get her to. That's how my best friend is, Jaynari. Have you heard of him, the music producer? Sorry, Sorry. Jaynari. Yeah. Bro, my name Red Deuce and my name is Chief Cole. Trying to get a yellow bitch and fuck her all night night long. long. Shout out, Red. Yeah, they're both my besties. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like I like to be honest, I was like. 14, I was ninth grade, mm-hmm. I was bumping Red Deuce, I remember I'm definitely here. gonna make sure that they know, cause they're Yo, gonna watch, they watch all my shout videos. Shout out to Red, that was like, cause you know how like, when you getting up in this, like, yep. everybody you listen to and you fuck with is yep. an inspiration, so, yeah. that would be dope y'all watch it, cause y'all just definitely was an inspiration, like, I still be thinking about that shit, like, yeah. that's crazy. Like, I mean, some people like, you know, I'll be like, oh, I'm cool with them, I fuck with them, but them, hey, tell them Jay Nari, is really... tell Jay Nari send a pack, bro. Oh yeah, beat yeah. pack? Yeah, oh yeah, Jay, you gotta send a beat pack. But I still got ones, like, nobody but you. Excited for that one coming mm-hmm. out. I got this song. Should I just talk about it? Fuck it. Runway about to come out next year. Yeah. That shit gonna fuck everybody up. Mm-hmm. Promise you. So, so what do you have out right now that they can go and search and stream so that just, you're really proud about? Everything. I love everything I do, to be honest with you. I, so give them a couple of names. I, I would fart on the track and it'd be like amazing. But anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the single Overnight is out for I Like Being Alone. Um... Man, everything. Just go search me up, Ian Michael, on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, 
Um, I'm on SoundCloud, King and Michael. I'm on YouTube. All his links will be in the bio. All, all that shit. All that shit. So go check Whatever me out. Um, bio. I surrender. I'm really proud of that one. Um, I, videos are for all of these too. I seen the. Which one is the one on the beach? I surrender. Okay, yeah, I heard that one. I said, hold the fuck on. <laughs> yeah, I was really. Proud hold of on, that. they tricked me. <laughs> they tricked me. I thought this nigga was a rapper, rapper. This nigga is over here singing, looking like. But it was crazy because you gave me like. Who did you, whose vibes? I got boy band vibes because it was on the beach. But it's nothing wrong with that. I, I just, loved it. I was your, in the studio. Your voice like, sounds yeah. amazing. Amazing. I appreciate you. I was in the studio yesterday. We like rapped a verse and I was like, Ian Michael just went K-pop. Because like, I'm really inspired by K-pop. I love how they make this like that, That's the Korean pop, right? Yeah. <laughs> love that shit. Shout uh, out to like Twice, laughing. EXO. Um, BTS is killing it. Um, it's a lot of people. I love this shit because they're about making this like plastic model, mm -hmm. and like it kind of sucks though as a person. I want to say because like they'd be like, "This is who you are, and it's who you're gonna be are for it." So it, like they they gotta kind of let off a little bit and let people be themselves. But it's dope because they package it and like the kids love it and mm -hmm. it sells. It does what it does. They sell at arenas. I'm about arena music. You feel me? Like right. I think the. Will you make it make sense? You gotta make it make sense. Um. It's just like you said, it's about just the whole brand. You look at Drake, you look at Beyonce, you look at Selena Gomez, you look at Justin Bieber, um, Demi Lovato, you look at Harry Styles, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, these are the names I'm, I'm looking at, you right. know what I'm saying? Other people, I listen to a lot of music now just to understand waves, understand consumerism. Right. But when it comes to me, like, um, this is something me and Juice kind of had to get to of like, there is no top of the music industry. Everybody got their own niche and stuff. Right. But you can't make it into like, Beyonce's doing a Rose Bowl, you feel me? Right. That's that's the go. That's the go. Doing yeah. Hollywood Bowl, getting those thousands of people in the stands singing yeah. the lyrics, screaming yeah. it. Yeah, and I mean, that there's energy. no reason that females in the industry should be, female singers should be the only one to go pop or, oh, yeah. you know, get up to that mainstream level. Like, it's you just, know, it, Nas, I mean, little Nas X. He's kind of like, he's, I was, he's kind of popish. He's, he's there. He got, yeah. it's like, the thing about the arena shit, is you gotta just put some years in to get there, and he's on right. his way, 100%. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, before the little Nas X, since I graduated 2013, so like 2012, 2013, I've been talking about country hip hop. I, probably, I have a country hip hop song for my first shit, we deleted it, but it's called Financial Aid. Like, the uh, PK, he was teaching us how to do country, he made his country beat. I was like, yo, put some 808s on that shit. Right. I did it, and I rapped on it. So, I was like, Dumb happy to hear, yo, country hip hop is a thing. Yeah. How do I get involved? You feel right, me? So right, right, right. It's gonna come. We're gonna get it. It's just gotta be right. I'm from Inglewood though. At the end of the day, I still got it. Do you feel speak. like that comes in in the music, in the sound? I don't really I want it know. to. All I the wouldn't time. have known that you were from Inglewood. I think I told you about that too, where like my, my dad from New York, my mm -hmm. mom from Tennessee. I'm from out here, so I really feel like I'm all three coasts and body. You know? Right, like, yeah. I'm because your culture is not LA based exactly. as far as that goes. Like, you guys just lived here. Your parents were foreigners. And honestly, I, it, it, no, that's how I. What, what's the what's the word uh, that they call them? Transplants? transplants? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely from two transplants, but I'm an LA native, so yeah. and, and I that's hooped. how I am too. Like back home, because my dad's from Trinidad. That's okay. a whole island, different country. My mom's from Newark, New Jersey. Okay. And they just decided, okay, well, after, like, my brother was born in Texas and Texas didn't work out for my dad in the oil fields, we're going to go to Bakersfield. At okay. that time, Bakersfield wasn't as ratchet or ghetto as it is now. It was just more of a farm town. Okay. And I grew up out there. So it's like, that is our culture now. I am a Bakersfield. I'm Bakersfield is my culture because that's all I know. But at the same time, it's not. Because, number one, I'm Muslim. Okay. Number two, my family's from Trinidad. And we grew up in the Trinidadian culture and in the Islamic culture. Okay. So it's like, it kind of made me yeah. as diverse as I am now. Shout out so, to NOI. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. Like, yeah. No, and, it, and and that's where I'm at where, but I hoop. I threw, like, I didn't gangbang, mm -hmm. but hooping is how you know everybody in L.A. Well, that's so, it's so yeah. funny that you said that because it's always that in a movie. They, the, the hoopers... The gang members respect you. Either could do you either gotta do one nigga. You either gotta play sports or gang bang in the hood. That's how it's been in every movie. Yeah, and if you don't do one or the other, it ain't no in between. Oh nigga, you ain't trying to make something out of your life. You gotta come be on the set, nigga. Yeah, like that's how it is. It's and, just, and I think it's hard. You know where I got to. This is just, like I'm out of my pocket to talk about this. But in college, I joined a fraternity, and I had to realize that when I came down here. I mean, gang banging really is a fraternity. And really, like for for where really we is. where we how we were raised and stuff, a lot of us don't got our dads in the homes. 
we need that shit. We need a big brother to tell us, you feel me, how to run up money or whatever. Right. Um, granted, it could be a bit more positive, but I like we were just talking about it. Uh, I feel like people my age are making it into that. Um, and it's going to get to a lot to my studio, RBI Studios. Um, I opened a studio last year, so I was really like big of learning how to do it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my mentor, I talked about Haskell, he like built me this room. Mm -hmm. um, and I used to go there every day um, and just, you know, produce the track. Mm -hmm. But at that time, I was recording Logic, so it taught me how to record myself. Mm -hmm. um, now I got Pro Tools, so like I said, I produce a track, load it up in Pro Tools, and I just freestyle and like cut up tracks and things like that. And so, like, this, like I said, this became my life because it's just it's fun. Like, you know, sometimes we like throw many. This is what actually made the album, to be honest. It was like, but this was a this lot. This scenery. This scenery, and then a lot of it was done a little bit before quarantine, so we were still throwing like many parties in here. So I just got really big into like, okay, I want to make a song tonight that I can bump, uh, you know, while we're here drinking and smoking and shit, right? Right. So then that's a lot I like being alone. Um, and then just certain things in my life and stuff I was able to talk about. Um, just, I don't know, I really love it. Shout out to Juice, though, she arranged it mm -hmm. to where, like, it just feels like a day. That's mm -hmm. really like, it was like... That could be like a, one of my days back in like 2018. Like mm -hmm. the album cover, I haven't dropped it yet. I don't know when this interview is dropping, but mm -hmm. when you see the album cover, that Before was from album. that was from a day of like 2018. After like, you know, the shit I was involved in doing some shit, mm -hmm. and like I was at the homie's house, and like for like for me, this this shit just became time pieces. Like, you know, in like I have girl from the North EP and shit, and granted. It, it didn't do what I wanted it to do, but mm -hmm. I could still listen to it. And like all those songs were about <clears throat> a relationship I had. So I could, <coughs> right. I could still listen to it and be like, yo, like, man, I remember this. I remember like scheming. I'm talking about another album, but I remember for like, right. you know, EP, scheming was about this girl, you know, I met in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I could hear that. So like, I like being alone has that same type of feel of just like, I remember 2018, 2019, of right. like what I was going through at that time. So you feel like the in <clears throat> the inspiration from your music mostly comes from your experience with other people? Uh, uh, other people in my life, um, like Rain Dance. I love Rain Dance because I was about, my brother was kind of big on the L.A. scene. Mm -hmm. And um, so we were just, you know, poly he was trying to get me on. We were politicking with different L.A. DJs and L.A. people. And so what I learned is a big politic of it is going to the strip clubs. Right. Met a lot of girls. Oh, know. so rain dance. Like yeah, it rain. yeah. It was a. It was I like just, that. And it's a very, very simple song. Mm -hmm. And like when I recorded, I, like I don't think too much when I recorded. That's why I know it's really divine energy because I right. be saying shit and then later I'd be like, wow, I'm talking about this. And it was just talking about like me going to all those strip clubs, seeing a lot of the facades, like niggas pulling up in these fake rental cars and right. jewelry and girls, and it's like you just trying to hide pain. You yep. feel me? That shit ain't really real. Or the fact that you're broke. That that too. <laughs> that's really what it be normally. Yeah. And um, but then too, I met a lot of girls there. My favorite club was Sam's After Dark. I love After Dark. That shit is little. Sam's great. After Dark. Which Sam's one is that? that? That's, that's the, the that's the one that's the restaurant, or because there's two Sams. No, so that's Sam's Hot Bra. Um, that's the like the just the topless one where it's this big vibe. That's cool. I was in there with some in this NFL team, bro. So like, I think we went there for Pun's birthday when I went with Jay Nari and Red Deuce and Pun. Yo, and Sam birthday. Sam's is a vibe because Shout out it's Pun. a it's a lot of people. You feel me? Is it the one with the little tables? They got tables. The, but they're little. That no, no. Was, that Sam's After Dark is a little table. It's little like the little. little okay, little that's the one we went. Shout out. No, um, After Dark is because this is like full nude, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's but the they have bathing suits on, but they took them off. No, it looks so like Sam's Sam's hot bar is just topless, and then Sam's after dark is full nude. Oh, those, so, those are both your spots, huh? Because you know the description. No, I'm telling you, I, I had like I this had like nigga a know whole what month. Specials. I had a whole month. I was just going to strip clubs, right? And then like I said, this wasn't even my mo. It became where it was like at first I was going to strip clubs with like a a pout on my face, like why the fuck am I here type shit. Why were you mad? It wasn't. I didn't think it was my thing. Like, and granted, too, like I said, I wasn't, I'm not into the whole, I, I didn't like to, like, niggas be, like, pressing their luck over them and shits. Like, right, right, don't right. touch the girl, you feel me? Like, right. she's just dancing. It's a show. But asshole me? naked. It's a show. It's a burglar <laughs> show. Niggas right. is over here pressing line, touching on you. That, that yeah, shit it's makes weird. me mad. That yeah. shit makes me mad because it's like, that's not what it's about. You feel me? You mm -hmm. go, you throw your money. And you just having a show. And then, too, that's why I like After Dark more than Like, because over here, I don't want to sit on a strip club. But there was one strip club I went to over here where they just come to you and they're like, oh, you want to dance in the back? Nope. All right, bye. Like, you know, like, yeah. you're here working, too. I like After like after Dark, they just talk to you. 
So I met a lot of girls where I got their stories and like a lot of them saying they're just trying to let me find out. This is how this nigga made the album. He went to the strip club. Nah, I'm making nah. this the clip too look, on look. the Instagram. He went to the strip club and interviewed these bitches. I wasn't and, interviewed. And, and, we were just and, talking. We were just talking. But those, it's like a conscious interview. No, but it was just like they really like were trying to do shit. You know what I'm saying? And With their like, lives, huh? Right. Like and some so, players club shit, right. huh? Like a little bit, like you know, I, you I, felt for girls, them, huh? That you had to go make a song. I actually think about some of them because, like, they really had goals, and it just be like, you feel me? Like, they just, had go. This thing is, you're dead ass serious. I'm dead ass serious. I know, like, and that's no what makes it funny. My blog is gonna love it. I hope so, but no, you I'm just, I'm just saying, like, them. real life, like. They really had like goals, and it was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, I'm telling you, I was thinking about it. So I made Rain Dance about that. I'm just like, um, watch the chain hang as you're talking about the pain. Like, people were really just living in pain in them strip clubs. You feel me? Like, yeah. Who they are. And like I said, even with the niggas that, you know, like, because you understand how it works. It's, it's, there's just pimping going on through that shit and yeah. everything where, mm-hmm. like, some girl, she's dancing all night, and then she's just giving her money. Yeah. to a nigga yeah. that is just sitting at the house on his ass. Yeah. So it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I for some reason, got to see that side of life. And that wasn't my MO. That wasn't my shit, but I just you to see you it. Just, okay, so when you went to, <laughs> I need the look, I need the, the whole background. What's up? What's when up? you went to the strip club, was that, was that your intentions? No, from it the was, beginning was, I was just helping. Went, I was helping somebody else network. They, they, they. So you just it. went to see Ass and Titties originally. I was, I was going to. It was about the scene. Like everything I've done over this is just like, how okay. can I get in? Okay. And, and so then, I guess like I, I just knew some people that that was they shit. Did you throw money on them? Bro, we was broke. <laughs> That's why I hated it too. Like, bro, we was broke in a strip club. That's the worst <laughs> thing to do. Cause two, you know, like some of the girls would be like, "Oh, them niggas ain't got no money," type shit. So they won't fuck with you. But so, they still was really talking to you though. That's why like after dark, because they don't care. After dark, oh. they there from one to like seven. So like, like I don't know if it's changed. I ain't been there. I mean, granted, we in a pandemic too. But like at that time, Nigga the girls that was week. there, they was just so happy to like. They just like being there, and they yeah. say, like I was just talking. They like I like the girls here, this and that. So it was just a vibe. Granted too, like the people I was with were like the people they fuck with. Like they called and be like, I'm gonna be here with so and so. Come, like I, I got to see that too. Right. Like I'm gonna be here. We about to throw the bag, blah blah blah. So you know, I'm just a nigga that like, okay, he can kind of rap. Let's kind of bring him right. along. So right. that's what I'm saying. Of course, I was just in some emotional shit. I might have threw twenty dollars. I don't know, bro. In one time. Yeah, but like that was a bad time. Like I was really like going through it at the time. Like I didn't realize. That's why I'm like, why am I here at the strip club? Right. Because I need to go be doing this. But right. it taught me a lot, and I made one of the best songs from the album off of it because right. it just. That's really how I felt of just like... And this album is the one that's dropping on the 31st. On the 31st. Rain Dance is on that one. So Sky you guys five. stay tuned that's for really, that. That's really what that, that whole album is about, though. It's just, I got around like... Emotional experiences that you went through. Yeah. Now, with your pop sound style, what do you think the inspiration for that came from? Is it just the fact that you want to do something different? That's the first thing. Okay. Like, bro, at the end of the day, like, granted, I got some trap shit on there. Like, like I got some trap shit on there. I, I feel like... It. I feel like I was still able to get on there in a wave that was still me, and mm-hmm. it wasn't like it's still appealing in that sound. Right. But it was just I was really over it. And I love Future though. Like Future, he did his shit. But now it's like thirty niggas trying to be Future. You exactly. Me? And so, I mean, yeah. So like Future, you got to realize when I got here too, uh, we turn on music videos, and every day I'm seeing a new Future music video. That was my big inspiration. So that's why I started freestyling. And I started. Like Future Thug, I got inspirations in that trap scene, so I just wanted to take what they was doing and do it differently. And gotcha. I love pop. Like Juice will tell you, we grew up together. So right. she remember when I was six, seven, with the Michael Jackson glove hat, everything, doing all the moves. Okay. That was that was my inspiration. I told y'all earlier, like yeah. to me, if this shit ain't no Michael Jackson shit, this ain't no Prince shit. Man, I watched Purple Rain. I got so inspired. Yeah, she was crazy. I love Prince. Man, I love him. I feel like I missed out because like for the longest. Um, I was just more of a Michael Jackson fan. I guess I, I get caught up in the beef of yeah, like people. Yeah, they be tripping. <laughs> I didn't, and, but like I didn't even know about it. But I guess just subconsciously, I was like Michael Jackson. But um, that's a big inspiration too of like wanting to do it. So it was like you know, I just I, I wanted to be a pop star, and I, in my head, I don't you, like I'm a rapper and all that. Down to the dancing. Uh, we dance a little bit. I mean, the best friend video, I hit my little shoulders and shit. I mean, I might <laughs> get. I mean, like I said, it's about growth so we'll see what happens on this journey we'll see what happens on because i don't want you to turn into jason derulo 
Man, can black people like Jason Derulo? This is what, what he I'm do wrong. What did, I, what was, did I know what he did wrong for me, but what did he do wrong for y'all? What did he do wrong for you? All of a sudden, they don't like this nigga. I don't know. It was for me. It was when he did that stupid ass TikTok video to the da 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 song. I don't know I'm, the I'm song. A, I'm gonna I'm I'm say this though. TikTok has kept his career going because Savage Love is a banger, and I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> What is Savage Love? So that was that little, that little, it's like the beat, when you heard it, it was funny, so everybody was doing that dance to it. But then it was like, Savage Love, did somebody, did somebody break your heart? Oh, I heard he that shit on Kiss FM, and I was like, nigga, this is a banger, like, this nigga back. But he's not a bad, like, okay, he's not a bad. I can just tell you, you're not, you're not feeling bro, and it's cool. <laughs> like, it, you don't have to. That's he's the thing not about a music. bad singer. It's just like, bro, why are you embarrassing us this way? I don't think, how? How? Because he don't got to be acting like a goddamn buffoon half the time. He runs around like a minstrel show. Like, Hey, look. For you anybody, know. I fuck with Jason Derulo. I think he cool. I think. I will still interview you your ass, though. I will. But. I think he's tight. I think, you feel me, he's doing what he does. I think we need black people in all spaces, and he needs to do what he's doing. Because. Is he doing it for us? He's doing it for him, and I hope he is just doing it for him. Yeah. Then, cause like you can't, you can't do it. Like black people, you know this. Black people ain't really easily impressed. So no. if you try to do it for black people, you gonna be <laughs> in a long journey. You know what I mean? Like, black people ain't easily impressed. Why aren't we easily impressed? I mean, cause we don't watch shows. Again, so we nigga. be like, we really be like, we can if do that. I can Andrew do a backflip and a three sixty, exactly. nigga, off the backboard. So, Ollie oop too, nigga. Try again. <laughs> so you gotta be dope, and that's what like I said. Juice come at me with the pop shit, like. It gotta be able to hit. Like when it really hits, like niggas will fuck with it, of course. Yeah. But if you just trying to get some bubble gum, like niggas gonna call you out. That's yeah. just what it is. Like, <laughs> you, you gotta love it though. At least we tell the truth. I just wanted say. to know when it happened though, because I knew I didn't like him, but I seen everybody <laughs> else shared the view, and I said, oh okay. So. No, nah, it's. <laughs> I've been really hurt over like twitter seeing this because i'm like <laughs> he's really doing this shit and like niggas is just he like hold on that was a hit y'all true that was a hit i like savage love so that shit was dope i think who do you want to date that's a celebrity this will be a this will be the exclusive for the vlog a spoiler alert so i've always said this i'm just never gonna put out a celebrity crush because i can make it happen it's gonna happen one day so who is it that way when it happens they'll say oh my god he said it on freeze vlog first Look, I'll give you this. I've met one of my celebrity crushes. Nigga, that don't tell us nothing. <laughs> Hopefully she watching. <laughs> oh, okay. Got you. She knows what's up. I don't think she does. I don't think she does. I don't really make it. I'm not a let it be known type of nigga. I am. NBA, I'm here. <laughs> Boom. Kick the whole door down. Like. No. Shout out. Shout out to NBA. No, nah, but I mean, honestly, the first love of my life is, of course, Drake. Like, down, deep down, like, when Drake, when I met you, in what year was that i don't know i was like 15 16 in canada like when i met you i was never this fine and i want you to know that i've grown so much so i'm ready when you're ready that's number one but nba is number two i got you i would say two x is number three i would say <laughs> it's a whole list no i don't know i don't know yeah i like like i said i'm gonna make it happen if i if i got a celebrity crush i feel like one of these days it's going yeah it, it can happen, and if, if if not, I'm just not going to be a goofy and be talking about, you know, who I like, because right. I might be able to make it happen. That's true, that's true. Well, is there anything you do want to say exclusive for the vlog that nobody knows about you? Nobody We're knows. definitely going to put the um, <clears throat> link to all of his music. Instagram, you have Twitter too, right? Twitter. I'm going to have to follow I'll you I'll be on Twitter, Twitter while in. Me too. That's I, my I am. Place. Listen, y'all, I know that y'all be seeing my, that is, the Twitter is not who y'all see here. The Twitter is who I really am. The Instagram is kind of who I really am too, but I've been I've been acting conservative on Instagram. That's no twerk about videos. I'm not happy about it. Why not? It. Why not? Because I don't want to throw ass anymore and then come interview niggas and they like, oh, we just seen you throwing ass. You know like, what's crazy though? I think I I got into this because I've been around just trying to be a scene where like you I got and that's why I said I got no celebrity crush because yeah. you meet a lot of dope beautiful women doing this shit. Right. And you just can't be a thirsty ass nigga or right. it's gonna fuck up your whole career. Right. Like, yeah, so you're right. That's kind of where I've gotten to like. And I mean, it's different for guys too when you guys say it. Like I can say, you know, I think all these niggas are fine, and it's oh, not. Oh, y'all can get away with so it's much not shit. Not come off like oh, pop and pussy. It's just like it's just like either he about it or he not, and either way, it's not weird. But you as soon me? as I'm like, 
hey, what's up? Can I just get you to dinner? Like, right. damn, this nigga He's trying to get me. Like, damn, I'm trying to keep it professional. Get out of here, bad. thirsty. He be in my inbox. Yeah, yeah. uh huh. I know. I, dude, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let this be known. I'll let you know because I, I hope she sees this. So, so look, I, <laughs> I, I met some, I had I had met somebody that was on the album, and I still will be about it. But I was so about it, and I let my people hype me up, and I shot my shot, and I never do that shit, and I still feel bad because she has somebody and i was like see like now i look unprofessional because like but like i was really about it so like that's the one i'm gonna put myself out there like right still to um, this day. do you have anything else exclusive you want to say to the people you i know, like anything? being alone coming october 31st yes definitely um man just check me out follow me at kingy and michael i hope y'all doing well today watching this i be saying that all the time if you know it's pandemic like days be like this you yep. just go up and down so if you watching it today and you feeling low know that god is with you mm. um know that you feel me like it's not over you feel me like life is just ups and downs you might be on a down today and tomorrow gonna be the best day of your life so you just gotta keep going keep fighting um and anybody that's on this journey it's too late to quit just keep going yeah if you love it i've never heard that it is too late to quit if you I love it some go shit. ahead you feel me why not you feel me don't have that regret of like oh i didn't go for go for it you feel me i probably need to take my advice shoot my shots send a snowflake myself in the yes game. can somebody send me a snowflake this week hey somebody send free a snowflake please <laughs> i like. need a snowflake to see See, look, I'm throwing out what you all wish three. For it. Okay. Your shit gonna be flooded. I know, right? Your shit be flooded. If you ask for it, my DMs go up, and I'm tired of y'all writing me before nine. No, because you gotta realize, like a nigga's like perspective. <laughs> yeah. Like it just be like, oh, she asking for it, bet. But yeah. like it be like it might not be you. Right. You feel me? That be yeah. that be the fucked up part. Yeah. Like I'm looking at this like where it started, where it's going, yeah. and it just shows like. If she fuck with you, she fuck with you. Because they be some corny ass. Yeah, shit. If that's all you want to say to the people, then I will definitely sign off. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel, watching my views. The reaction that I've been getting from the people has been amazing. I don't even know where to begin on how happy I am and appreciative I am for everybody just genuinely watching the videos. It's not just about me anymore. It's about you, too, because everybody that watches the videos, that subscribes, that reposts it, you're just helping someone else get their music out, getting my vlog out. You're enlightening other people. So this is what we do this shit for, to make sure that people are able to listen to good music, but know who they're fucking with and be, in, be able to get an insight, some real organic shit of who a person is. So that's what I'm going to keep bringing you guys, those exclusive interviews. You guys already know what it is when it comes to me. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Info will be in the bio. And shout out to the merch, shout out to the merch. Oh, yeah, shout the merch out. You feel me? The I Am Care Amount of Clothing that, Company. That will be in the bio, soon. too.